Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the Britannica Junior Encyclopedia has a world atlas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Africa, yes, happens to be the first location um, that uh, is in alphabetized order. Yes. Now, um, on page 140, they have uh, the continent of Africa. Yeah. Mm. And I'm kind of concerned about Africa today since they're first. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, I know that there's South Africa. Right. Right. It's down here. Mm -hmm. But um, I was wanting to make some investments in some land. Yeah. And I, I keep documenting these lawsuits, and I'm thinking, well, I'm going to have X number of hundreds of billions of dollars available to me. Yeah. Now, I would think that the least expensive land would be in the Sahara Desert. Yes. And considering uh, the amount spent for the available amount of land, mm -hmm. I'm wanting to buy the cheapest land throughout the world where... I can get the most land with the least amount of money. <laughs> now, uh, South Africa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where is the least expensive location to buy land in South Africa? <clears throat> Could you call that nation for me? Because, you know, uh, I talked to the European Union about uh, these international law enforcement cooperation agreements. Yeah. <laughs> And yesterday, I documented one of those good lawsuits where you intentionally prosecuted an individual for the same offense. Yes. Because you refused to admit the evidence that I wasn't in squim. Mm -hmm. If you had admitted the evidence, yes, I would have been exonerated. Mm -hmm. And it would have required the removal of the protection order. Yes. Because the petitioner, yes, would have filed a false police report. Oh, <laughs> But since you did one of these uh, trying an individual twice for the same offense, yeah, <clears throat> it could be uh -huh, that this continent here known as Africa, yes, <laughs> that I'm looking to buy up the least expensive land in this continent. <clears throat> now, we're going to start with South Africa today, <clears throat> and then I'm going to start looking at the international agreements, conventions, and constitutions of the individual nations of Africa. <clears throat> See, when you don't respond, my immediate thought is, well, what am I going to spend all this money on? <laughs> and the thought was, well, if I could get a large amount of land for the least amount of money, <clears throat> I would be the largest <laughs> world land owner. <laughs> yeah. So just get me the actual government uh, of South Africa, <laughs> the various oaths, <laughs> because I'm going to focus on Africa today. I'm going to focus on Africa. <laughs> now, since they're the first uh, name of a continent of any of the geographic locations on the atlas, <laughs> the thought of being tried twice for the same offense, yes, under the threat mm -hmm, of incarceration in a mental institution, yes, because of your refusal to exonerate me of any wrongdoing, the more I think about it, the more money it is worth. Mm -hmm. Now, I just wanted you to, to understand, mm -hmm, there was this study poop, of um, these actual jury trials and tort trials. Yeah, I'll put a picture of it for you. That, well... Juries, when they find out, yes, mm -hmm, that you arrested an American citizen, right, for the allegation of violating the restraint provisions of a protection order, yes, and then I emailed you, law enforcement, mm -hmm, asking you to admit the evidence that I wasn't in swim, yeah, and I had that first best evidence of being on the bus that morning, yeah, and then I had the evidence of the being in the library on December 31st of 2015. <clears throat> what I found very exciting was that <clears throat> of the analysis that starts with the review of very large punitive damages awards, yeah, <clears throat> we found 
98% of the large punitive damages awards were made by juries ah, and only 2% by judges. The jury awards in these large cases were highly unpredictable yeah, and were weakly correlated with compensatory damages. <laughs> Now, there's punitive damages and compensatory damages. <laughs> now, let's, let's, let's talk about compensatory. Pew! There's this idea. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That if I was able to have my money, yes, my sons, yes, my inheritance, <laughs> if I was able to talk to Marilyn about what she's been teaching, yes, I would go into business for myself and I would sell various innovations. Oh, now every day that you've conspired against me making any money, yes, because of your refusal to admit evidence, yes, where you tried me twice for the same offense, yes, and under the threat of loss or limb. Now, a lot of people would say that the human mind's not that important to law enforcement, but when you lobotomize an individual because of the use of lithium pharmaceutical products, <laughs> yeah, if I could talk to you. I'm really upset this morning because the more that I thought about it, the more I like large punitive damages. <laughs> and then there's compensation, compensatory damages. <laughs> now I'll give you an example. <clears throat> Last night, I was watching the 60 Minutes. No. And in Monaco, yeah, they ran out of land to build buildings. No. Yeah, they did. And they decided that they would build in the water an additional 15 acres for those that wanted to build large structures. Now, let me, let me give you an example. Monaco. Yes. It's up here someplace. I can probably find it on the Atlas. Yes. Now, I'll go back to the index. Let's say 15 acres seems like a lot of land to you. <laughs> but over here, now, if I had the availability, yes, of uh, steam generating some garbage, yes, high density garbage that is made into a plastic product, yes, that does not, oh, is Monaco in here? Europe, physical, political, page 116. <laughs> now, Think about this. 12 inches in actual thickness. Yes. X number of tons necessary to make this. Yes. And I, I make little squares like this, Morgan. Yeah. And I put that in the actual sea itself. I can make it 10, 20, 30 feet long. Yes, you can. Now, what's really interesting, I can put a steam generator, HHO gas, in the middle of that box made from uh, recycled garbage, steam all the water out of it so it's completely dry, and fill it with concrete. <laughs>